Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel and April is finally upon us here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This month there are a whole bunch of new things to enjoy including events, limited time items, new bugs and fish to catch, and more for both Northern and Southern Hemisphere players. In this video I'll be giving you the full rundown about everything that is happening in April so you're up to date. If you're excited for this video be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and turn on those channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. Number 1 Bunny Day Much to the dismay of many Bunny Day has returned this April 2021 but don't worry there are some really cool new things to enjoy here like brand new items which you can purchase from Nook's Cranny until the 4th. The main event itself will be taking place on April the 4th so make sure you head to the Resident Services Plaza throughout that day and talk to Zippity Bunny to get some Bunny Day themed rewards and prizes. I actually made a more in-depth video about this and all of its changes already, so be sure to check that out if you want the full rundown about Bunny Day 2021. Either way, even if you took part in it last year, it's definitely worth taking part this time around too, so you can enjoy the latest changes. All of the brand new items are really cool, so I definitely recommend getting a hold of them before they're gone. Number 2, Prom Season. Prom season is here and it runs from April 1st to April 30th, so quite a long time. You'll be able to purchase a bunch of different prom themed items from the seasonal items menu in the Nook shopping app and a ton of different clothing items from the Able Sisters store throughout this time too. If you missed out on prom in the real world then this is definitely something that you might enjoy here in New Horizons. The new flooring and wallpaper are especially cool and I really like the new sash item too which is basically a backpack which you can pair with any piece of clothing in the game that you want. Make sure you head out there and get those new items, but there's no rush as this mini event is here for a while. If you'd like to see a full video about this event and all of the items, let me know in the comment section down below. Number 3, Cherry Blossom Season. Cherry Blossom Season is upon us from the 1st to the 10th of April for Northern Hemisphere players, and all of the regular hardwood trees around your island will be a beautiful pink throughout this time. You'll be able to catch the cherry blossom petals which you can use to craft many different cherry blossom themed DIY recipes which all look really cool, and you can collect these DIY recipes from balloons for this period of time. The cherry blossom season is fleeting so enjoy it whilst it lasts. The season will peak on the 7th when the blossoms will be falling from the sky, so make sure you enjoy it because it's super pretty and it looks great with all the different sunsets that will be happening at this time of the year. For Southern Hemisphere players, this event will be happening in October, so sadly you've got a little while before you can enjoy it again. Sorry, but if you don't have these items, you could always trade with a Northern Hemisphere player. Number 4. Tree Planting and Nature Day From April 1st to April 10th, you'll be able to get a super cute new plant item which is the Forsythia Tree in the Seasonal Item Shopping tab. This is for the Tree Planting Day event in South Korea. I really really love this item, I think it's probably my favourite out of all the new seasonal items introduced this month. You can't go wrong with a really cool new plant item, so definitely make sure to get a hold of this one or a whole bunch of them before it's too late, it'll help add some more green to your islands. Then from April 15th to April 22nd, you'll be able to get another brand new seasonal item which is the Cool Globe. This is to celebrate Nature Day which is an event we've seen before in Animal Crossing. Sadly, the special Nook Mile Plus goals from last year's Nature Day have actually been removed from the game, so that's no longer something that you can enjoy on Nature Day at this time around. So sorry to any new players who missed out on this, but it seems like that's just how Nintendo wanted to do things this time around. Either way, this new item is really cool, so definitely purchase one before it disappears through the limited time window. It looked really great in a study with a bunch of books, so I love this new item. Number 5, April Fool's Day. Sadly, there is no major April Fool's Day event happening this time around New Horizons, but you can enjoy some brand new whoopee cushion items from the seasonal shopping tab before the 4th of April, so be quick because you don't have long to get this one. It's such a shame that Nintendo didn't decide to add a proper April Fool's Day event this time around, and Blanca is still missing who hosted the event in New Leaf. Sadly, it seems like Nintendo might not have any plans to actually introduce this event into the game at any point. I guess we're the fools now. Number 6. Fishing Tourney. On April 10th you can enjoy a new fishing tourney. If you've yet to play it, I definitely recommend it as it'll help you get a bunch of extra bells, cool new prizes and even a Nook Mile goal completed too. There's nothing really new here for players who've been playing for a while however sadly, but maybe in the future we'll see some kind of update for these events. There's a lot of potential here for new items, so let's hope they might consider introducing them to the game within a future update. 
Number seven, bush changes. If you've got a lot of bushes planted around your island, then this one is for you. For Northern Hemisphere players, on April 11th, the azalea bushes around your island will finally bloom, meaning you can enjoy some of the prettiest looking bushes in the entire game. Of course, this is just an aesthetical change, but it's definitely worth planting some of these bushes around your island so that you can enjoy them throughout the year. For Southern Hemisphere players, you recently had the tea bushes bloom, so hopefully you've got lots of them planted around your island as they look super pretty. Number eight, new bugs, fish, and sea creatures. Like with every new month, you can expect to catch some brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures throughout your island. Northern and Southern Hemisphere players can expect new arrivals and certain critters leaving as well. Now, Nookopedia has a bunch of different pages on which bugs, fish, and sea creatures will be leaving and returning this April, so I definitely recommend checking them out for a full and comprehensive look at everything that'll be happening in terms of bugs, fish, and sea creatures throughout the month. However, in future, if you would like me to take a look at all of them myself in these videos, definitely let me know down in the comments section. Number 9, Nooklink Update. The Nooklink app, which you can find within the Nintendo Switch Online app for your phone, has been updated to include a new feature, the Nook Points Redemption System. This update is available now and you can log onto the app every day and collect Nook Points which you can use to redeem for exclusive prizes from the app. I highly recommend logging on each and every day so that you can get the points and redeem them for the items because they're all super cool and exclusive to the app. You can even get some portraits of the characters that we know and love as you can see on screen. I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments section if you've used this new feature yet and actually how many Nook points you've managed to rack up already. I've got a few myself and I'm planning on getting all of the different items that you possibly can get from this app so hopefully I can do that very soon. So these were 9 updates and changes happening throughout the month of April in Animal Crossing New Horizons. There is a lot of cool stuff going on here and both Northern and Southern Hemisphere players can really enjoy a lot of different things. Who knows, we might even see another full blown update this April in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is the 20th anniversary of the Animal Crossing franchise coming up, so maybe something could happen for that, but we'll just have to see. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at all these changes and I'd love for you to let me know in the comments which has been your favourite. Also, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang so that I know you watched all the way through. If you want to help support me and my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to become a channel member and a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, such as exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts and so much more, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, show support, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. You can check out my links and my merch in the description, and two Animal Crossing videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching.